Hello guys, what is up? It is me, Jew. Welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We are now entering everyone's favorite world. Hashtag sarcasm. This world is... Actually, this world's not that bad. I think the worst part about it is, uh... Like, the first thing that I'm gonna do, and I'm only doing it first because... Um, it's really unforgiving, and if you just... If you make one little mistake, then you're pretty much dead, so... <laughs> That's why I'm doing that first. I'm just gonna collect these notes. Usually I wouldn't collect these, like if I was kind of like doing this on my own time, but since this is the only time that I'm going to be coming through this area, I might as well pick everything up. Do not fall, okay? And these things, you can tell which one's the enemy because this one's a lot lighter than this one. And as soon as you get close to that, it gets eyes and it tries to eat you. So, nope. Probably peeked the mic there, but oh well. And there's a glitch here, but it's from the other side. If you walk up to this wall from the other side, you'll just... For some reason, you'll just clip through it. Never understood why that happened, but that happened to me multiple times. Just when I was messing around, I remember playing this game like, what was it, two years ago, and... I don't know why I remember that out of like everything else, but apparently I do. So I hit that switch. What that switch did was it slowed down the propellers. At least, um, like it'll go on a thing, like it'll start going really fast and then it'll slow down. Then it'll go back to going really fast and it'll keep doing that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter here and as soon as I'm done with this part, then this world isn't so bad. I thought the whole world in general was just really bad, but it turns out it's just this part. So yeah, once I get done with this part, then everything's good. So you wanna just be careful, don't try to speedrun this or whatever. Unless you're trying to set a world record, then yeah, speedrun it, but <laughs> I'm not doing that, so I'm not gonna try and get up the stuff. Okay, so over here we have a mumbo token and a mumbo token. I will get these mumbo tokens off screen. I'm not going to risk getting them right now, mainly because every time I try to, I end up dying. Don't want to risk that. And if we come over here, you can see that there's a bottomless pit there, and if you fall down, it's game over. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. So since this is the only time I'm going to be coming through this room, I'm just going to collect the jiggies. I'm not the jiggies and notes. <clears throat> and see if, like, how long this is gonna take. Now, there's a switch there, and there's a switch over there. You can't see it, it's off screen. But, um, I don't think it matters in which order you do it in, but when you hit one, it'll stop the, well, it won't stop, it'll slow down the propeller that's outside. I did not show that to you, but there is one outside. And once you hit the other switch, it'll completely stop it for, like, 50 seconds. And you have 50 seconds to run out of the room and get that jiggy, but... <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, you're timed, and I thought it was going to be, like, a lot, like, worse. Like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. But it's actually not that bad, and sorry that I'm taking a long time. I'm just taking my time. And this only goes around once, so you can just do that. Probably should not have done that. Okay, there are notes over there. I usually save this one for last, because I find going over this is a lot easier than trying to go over that, because you have to um, um, high jump over that. <clears throat> so, let me try to do this. You're better off on Kazooie for this part. Because you can just make a clear jump for it, not like that, Joe. You suck. Let's do that again. And... Bam. So yeah, you should be on Kazooie when you do that jump, because it's a lot easier to do it. When you're on Kazooie on Banjo, you're probably going to get hit a lot. So that's the first Jiggy, and there aren't any notes over here, okay. So let's go back to that area and hit the thing. 
and get on Kazooie Joe. Kazooie Joe, that's in the thing. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to line up with this. I'm going to try to do so. Okay, that's good enough. Actually, okay, yeah. So you want to wait until it's next rotation and hit, hit it about here. Because it will, it will stop through the cutscene, so you don't have to worry about it going. At least I don't think you do. If you do, then we're going to have problems. Go through it. And... Did I just do that? Did I forget to hit the switch? No. Well... Dang it. <laughs> this is the easier way to do it, but apparently I forgot to hit the switch because Joe's dumb. I don't know how I managed that, but... Okay. Shouldn't be that much of a, an issue. But, jeez, I thought I hit the switch. What was I doing over here? I think I got the jiggy and then I stopped. So this is the harder route, I guess. Because you actually have to long jump over it. Let me see how this goes. Okay, it stops there. So let's do... Ground pound. Let's do it. Right here. That was probably a little bit too early, but... Oh well. There is also a little delay on the timer, so you have a little bit of a head start. Yeah, th see, there's a little bit of a delay. That's not too bad, I guess. And the thing is, the other thing is these things stop, which is really good. Like the... Oh, make it, make it, make it. Okay, that, that actually saved me a lot of time, because usually I have to sit through that and wait. So we have 46 seconds to go back to the front of the ship, I think, no, the back of the ship, because that's where the propellers would be. And ow, how do I only have one life? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in here after I'm done with this and get the beehive, because that's gonna give me all the lives as is. I want my lives back. Do not get hit by that thing, whatever you do, and go down here. Now, if you have 20 seconds while you're doing this, this should be good. Other people, I've seen them, they had like 10 seconds. I don't know what they were doing, but they ended up with like 10 seconds left. So, get on top of here. I'm kind of getting really paranoid with that thing. Like, with me only having one health. Okay, so now that thing starts up again, and that thing is a, it's a one-hit KO, so you definitely do not want to get caught in that. Ooh, there's, an ac there's actually a hive there. Where's the box? Oh, this water, if I didn't mention it, which I didn't, um, it gradually, like, your air will decrease even if you are on the surface. Is there a box here? Yes, it is. Is this hitting it? Yes, it is. Okay, you give me health. No, you don't. Jeez. Okay, I have six Wonder Wings. <laughs> Wonder Wings. Gold Feathers. The move is called Wonder Wing, I think. Just kill you guys. Okay, you guys are dead. Thank you for the honey. So, four hits, that's... It could be better, I guess. There is a Jinjo down there, if you can see it. I don't think you can. There's a purple Jinjo down there, and you actually want to get him last. I don't know, that's just what I do, and that's what a speedrunner would probably do, because it skips the, you know, like it skips the final, like the tenth Jiggy animation. <clears throat> so there's a bunch of things that we can do right now on the ship. Let's see if I can remember them all. This thing here, jump in it, jump. <laughs> Learning how to jump. I think this is the kitchen. No, it's not. It's this area. Whoa, I did not know I was going to do that. There is a mumbo token down there, and the only real reason you would come down here is for the, um, the notes. I think so, anyway. I don't think there's anything else important in here. Okay, I am back. Just had to do something there. And, uh, I did not want to do that. There's another TNT thing. I think these only do one damage. I think. I don't know why I'm saying that. Probably they, they, uh, they probably do, like, two damage. I don't know if that did one or two. Was not looking. Maybe that's in... I'm probably thinking of banjo Tui where they do two damage. Because I think those are the only enemies in the game that actually do two. Like, they actually do two damage. Don't get close to that. 
you know, there's a series of numbers over there that you want to, like, remember, although it's not hard. Just remember 3, tw um, three 12, pretty much, and the rest is just 1s. Let's go down here. Is this a... no. I keep thinking all these are the kitchen. I don't know why. Like, I remember going down a pipe for the kitchen. I thought it was that one. There's a bunch of stuff. There's Barry here from Conker. From Conk Door. Okay, 40 notes. I think that's good. There's nothing over here except for feathers if you just want to grab them. And there's pretty much just, like, a couple health refuels from the enemies here. <clears throat> Voice crack for the win. Okay, hopefully I'm not missing anything. I think you can get like six jiggies just from being on this ship alone. Then the, re the rest are like from the edge, like the edge of the world. So let's go up here and 312 pretty much. And then this will give us a jiggy. Three, one, two, and then just one, one, one. And then that's gonna be our third jiggy, I think it is. Our second. I don't remember. Joe never remembers anything that he does in video games. Okay, I'm thinking two. Two or three. Three, yes. Can I pick up these notes? Because Joe, for some reason, did not do that, and I was wandering around with 99 notes for like five hours until I realized that the last note was right there. So with me getting that note, I'm probably not going to have a hard time getting notes. I just need to remember where all the jiggies are. I want to say you get six jiggies from here, but I think it's five, but I don't know why. It's either five or six. So there's a mumbo token up here, which I will grab. If I got all the Momo tokens in this world, which I probably will, I think I'll have enough for the next transformation. Or I'll have like 23. It's either 23 or 25, something like that. Let's go up here in the smokestack, and there's another Jiggy up here just waiting for us. <clears throat> got that Jiggy, four. So let me think. There's one in a window, and then there's... Actually, are there like six? Maybe there's like four J's or something. Okay, let me try to find the window where this thing's even located. Camera, what are you doing? Okay, I think there's a window down here. I'm not sure. Window. Where are you, window? Okay, here. You can kind of tell which one's breakable. I don't know if this is an emulator thing, but... I don't know, in the emulator, it just seems a lot more obvious which one's breakable and which one's not. Okay, let's get the four notes down here. That even was for I wasn't paying attention. I think that was actually five. So that's pretty much all that's in here. Just a couple notes and the mumbo token. Get out. The wrong window, Joe. You're not allowed to do that. Stupid enemies. Actually, is there anything over here? I want to make sure I <laughs> look at everything before I leave. Take it out. I probably should be using Kazooie, because Kazooie kills her in one hit, whereas Banjo takes, like, two hits. So I probably should not do that. And I'm already at, like, 13 minutes, which is really surprising for me, because that doesn't even feel like that long. I think this is the kitchen. Is this the kitchen? Because I want to say it is. Yeah, it is. So I was right. You do have to go down a pipe. And make sure every you check everything. This was also another note that confused me because the camera wouldn't pan over there, so I didn't actually know that there was a note over there. So that's another note that I was like wandering around aimlessly trying to get. And I do think there is another mumbo token in here. Yes, there is. We have to use the uh, gold feathers to get it so we don't get burned. I only have one golden feather that's actually not good. <laughs> There's a bunch of eggs in there. Do we need eggs? Let's just get them, because you do need quite a bit of eggs in this world, actually. I was surprised. I don't think you need that many. Probably, like, 20 at most. Although 20 is still a lot. In 2e, 20 is nothing, because in 2e, you get, like, 10 eggs per nest. In this one, you only get one at a time. So here's the thing here. Let's climb up this. Actually, let's try to do this. Yeah, let's climb up this and get this jiggy. 
I don't think this was the order I intended to do this in, but whatever, it's gonna work. And there's a toll over there that we can just put our eggs into. Another golden feather, there we go. Oh, well, I thought I did not activate my thing in time. Apparently I did. Get that note, Joe. Get it. <clears throat> okay, so this is another time jiggy, which is not hard at all. I think it gives you, like, just enough time, actually. Like, you get the jiggy and the thing closes on you, and then you die. Not really. Okay, so you want to get on Kazooie, because if you don't, I think you will miss this jiggy. I almost panicked there, because I couldn't see what I was doing. Okay, so we got that. And then... Actually, yeah, because there is one more Jiggy to get, so that is six Jiggies on this... Wait, no, there's seven. Is there really seven? Jeez. <laughs> I don't remember there being seven things to get here. Have I already been in here? No, I have not. Okay, this is another Jiggy, actually. And get out of my face. I don't know why I can't aim for those guys. And they sure do love these slime monsters, because they're everywhere in this level. Okay, so we got that at 6, and then the other one comes from the boss. Although, the, you know, the quote-unquote boss, because it's not really a boss, but they kind of act like it is. <clears throat> so I think those are all of the windows. I think, anyway. I don't think I'm missing anything else. So let me run to the front of the ship and do the boss. Although, this is not really going to take long. I think I can just climb up on it. Like, I don't really need to set anything up to do this. Yeah, okay, I can just climb up this. And this isn't timed once you hit the thing, the jiggy just falls. I mean, not the jiggy, the box will just fall down and you pretty much fight him. But there is a trick to beat him, which I'm going to do. It's not really beating him, but it's close enough because you're not killing him, but you still get the jiggy. Which, I actually found this out by myself, I'm surprised. <laughs> Cause usually I look this stuff up. But, not today, Joe actually found something all on his own. So the trick that I'm gonna do to defeat this guy is actually really simple. And all you need is pretty much one egg, and you just press up C and... Bam, you... <laughs> you've just defeated the boss. Okay, let's get that. You barely make that. So this will spawn a Jiggy out there, which we will claim later. I think that'll give us like, what, eight? Probably, or nine, because this is the last world, so it should give us nine. Okay, another Momo token. Roll under him, because apparently that kills him. Okay, yeah, so we have 20, and those other two will be 22, so yeah, I think we do have enough. Does this work? Okay, so you have to do this, and then look up, and then pretty much it hits him, and wait for him to come to you, like that, and then just run behind him. You will take a hit doing this, because during the dancing animation, he will take damage, but it's really worth it, at least for me it is, because that just saves, that saves a whole lot of time, and I got hit again, did not mean to do that. So yeah, that saves a whole lot of time, and if you were curious, and if you just go back in there, he is gone. He just despawns. I don't know where he goes, apparently somewhere. So let's see what I'm at right now for totals. Okay, seven jiggies. We're actually doing really good, already 72 notes? Jeez. <laughs> I'm surprised, I don't remember doing this much stuff on the ship. So I think I'm done on the ship. And I'm actually going to call the video there because I'm already almost at 20 minutes. So, yeah. See you later, guys. Bander says bye. If only I could type slash wave like Trove. Goodbye.